Hello grade 9 math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have a new unit, lesson 1 here, um, or we're going to solve one-step equations. We're going to get into algebra. There are two parts to the algebra. Uh, one comes a little bit later, um, but we are going to do one-step equations, which you may or may not have done already. Regardless, we're all going to be on the same page as we go forward and get into more difficult material. Let's go and see what we got. All right, so we have the first one, 6 equals k minus 4. And it says to solve. We have an equal sign. These are equations, which means we are going to find what k equals. I know we've been searching for x for, you know, hundreds of years or whatever. But we're going to find it today, okay? Uh, whether that's k or x, whatever variable it is, we are going to find that. And I'm going to show you the method that I use to move numbers and variables around uh, an equal sign of an equation. So an equal sign is a very important part of an equation. It is the middle point. I'm going to move stuff from one side to the other. That is a very important distinction. Moving stuff around on one side doesn't matter. Moving it across the equal sign does. So I have 6 equals k minus 4. You probably might know what k is just by looking at it. Like, oh, what number minus 4 equals 6? But we have a method to this for when we don't know. And what we're going to do is we're going to isolate k. We want to get k all by itself. So we are going to take whatever is on the side with k and move it across the equal sign. I'm going to take this 4 and I'm going to move it across. It's a negative 4. It is subtracted from this side. So when I move it across the equal sign, I'm going to change its sign. It is going to become positive 4. I am left then with 4 plus 6 equals k. And that means k is equal to 10. If you knew that already, that's great. Uh, but that is how I always think about moving things across. If it is negative on one side, it is going to be positive on the other. So it's positive on one side, it's going to be negative on the other. Let's go to the next problem. We have n minus a minus 18. Sorry, let's just scratch that off. Start again. Why not? We got lots of paper. I got a new one a couple lessons ago. n minus a minus 8 equals 18. If we're minusing a minus, that's just adding. So I can rewrite this as n plus 8 equals 18. And when I am moving that across the equal sign to get n all by itself, I'm going to take this and put it on the other side and it's going to become negative 8. When I flip it, when I move it across the equal sign, uh, it changes its sign. We're left with n is equal to 18 minus 8. n is equal to 10. You may have known that already. But when we take something across the equal sign when we're adding, we subtract it from the other side. We do the opposite when we move it across the equal sign. All right, we've got another problem here. We've got 8 equals negative 2v. Uh, again, we want to get v all by itself. To solve for v, we are going to isolate v. So we want to get this onto the other side. This time it is multiplied by our variable. So we are going to, when move it to the other side, do the opposite, which is dividing. So it's on the top on this side, it goes to the bottom on the other side. So we are left with eight divided by negative two equals V. We can do this, eight divided by negative two is minus four, therefore V is equal to minus four. When we have something on one side, we want to get it across the equal sign, we do the opposite of it. We multiply it on this side, so we divide when we move it to the other side. Here we go for the next one. We've got 3k equals negative 39. This k needs to be all by itself. That's what we're solving for. And we've got the 3 multiplied by it. When we have something multiplied, we are going to move it across the equal sign and divide, right? It's on top on one side, it goes to the bottom on the other. So we're left with k is equal to minus 39 divided by 3. k 
is equal to minus 13. So this is moving stuff across the equal sign once. That's what we're doing here. We have 13 is equal to r over 10. We want to get r all by itself. So we need to move the 10 over. The 10 is on the bottom on this side. So I'm going to move it to the top on the other side, right? Move it across the equal sign, you do the opposite. If we're dividing here, we multiply. So that is 10 times 13 equals r. r is equal to 100. And 30 and that makes sense 130 divided by 10 does equal 13 Let's do one more and then you are free to practice 6 to over 17 so 6 17 equals V over 17 We're gonna get V all by itself So I'm taking this that's on the bottom on this side and I'm moving it up to the top on the other side doing the opposite when I move it across the equal sign so that's 17 times 6 divided by 17 equals V. This is very convenient. The 17s can cancel out, and V is then equal to 6. Okay, one step problems, we're moving one thing across the equal sign. If it's addition on one side, it's subtraction on the other. If it's subtraction, we move it across, it becomes uh, addition. And it's the always the opposite for multiplication and division as well. Practice, practice, practice. Ask lots of questions. And if you're still having trouble, um, you know, work it out with a friend. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I will see you soon.